What's going on guys? I'm Mike from SuperheroJack.com, the place where fitness meets everything nerd and pop culture. So we're not just a fitness channel, we do have some gaming stuff, some fun TV show and trailer reviews, and obviously our celeb workout routines and training challenges that we also do. So make sure to swing by the channel, see if there's anything else you might like. For this How To Tuesday, we're going to be talking about pull-up alternatives and how to scale pull-ups. And that's for a very specific reason. That's because we've been doing these 30-day challenges. We started with push-ups, and then now this month we're doing air squats. I'm documenting the whole thing. I documented last month. If you missed my video on on 100 push-ups a day for 30 days and what happened you got to go back and see that I'll try to put it in one of these corners if I remember it. but I wanted to get in here give you guys some updates on my reading and some other stuff as well because the how-to Tuesdays are the only place that I'm doing that now we have a ton of content rolling out but how-to Tuesday is the only time I actually get to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit before the video so as far as reading and book club goes the announcement for that is I finished Ferris the Bowl and I'm moving through Mortal Engines book 3 right now I'm about 50% through that I might finish Mortal Engines and then just get both book reviews up at once just because we have so much going on within the Academy and other programs. The Academy has two new programs that just rolled out. We have the challenges going on. We have a whole bunch of stuff going on. I might take it slow and get the reviews up a little later, but either way, if you guys want to leave comments below, I'll read them and respond to that. Other than that, the reason I'm doing this How To Tuesday for pull-up alternatives and scaling is because the first month, I feel like people were a little intimidated by the push-ups. If you can't do a regular push-up, I feel like people were intimidated. They didn't know if they were able to do knee push-ups and some sort of scaling or do less, or they didn't want to get involved just because they weren't able to do push-ups, whereas air squats are a little easier to scale, just don't go as low, and people are doing air squats in their own way, or prison squats, or however they want to do squats, or sometimes even back squats and adding it in with the number of squats they're doing within their programming regardless. So I want to see that same amount of people joining us for the challenge when we eventually move next month into what I believe will be pull-ups. Hint, hint, obviously this is why we're doing this video today. It's going to be a quick video because we do have a full article about it. I give five different alternatives for the pull-ups that you guys can utilize. These aren't going to be just identical fixes for pull-ups. Eventually you want to work your way up to pull-ups, but if you can't do a pull-up or you don't have access to being able to do a pull-up for that specific day, then you can use these alternatives in place. One of which is going to be the most obvious, and we'll get into that, and I'll go down the list on which you should be utilizing. But until then, I want to say, Fate, this one's for you. I got my stitch here with me. Let's crack the monster, cue the music, and get into it. Alright, so for this one, I want to read specifically right from the site because I'm going to link it below and I want to be very precise with what I'm telling you guys. I want you to be able to go from this video right to the site. I'm going to try to put in the same exact images that I used in the article somewhere around me so you can see what I'm talking about. But in order, how I would scale these is number one being an assisted pull-up, whether that's with an assisted pull-up machine or with a band. Whichever you have access to, if you have access to either one of these, if you're going to a gym, for example, that is the first way to scale it. Use a weighted machine that's going to help you up or bands that are going to help you perform the pull-up. And keep in mind, you can do chin-ups if that's more comfortable. Just because we're calling it the pull-up challenge does not mean that you can't go either way you're more comfortable if you're going to be able to get more pull-ups in per day. The challenge is meant to be fun and you're meant to complete it with us, so get it done however you would like to get it done. Number two is a negative pull-up. So regardless of if you want to step on a bench and work your way up to the pull-up bar, or if you want to jump up to maybe your chin being almost above the pull-up, or if you want to use like the dip pull-up station where you could step up and pull yourself up a little bit, a negative pull-up is when you're slowly working your way down and you're really focusing on the negative of the pull-up, and then you would jump back up or step back up and slowly come down again. The same could be said for pull-up holds. You could hold yourself up at the top, count to a certain number, and count that as one to five reps or however you want to count it. You count it in your own way. So this way your scaling can keep up with us throughout the entire challenge. So that's one, two, and a bonus. Number three is a pike push-up. Sometimes these are referred to as handstand push-ups, but you're not actually flipping up over the wall and doing a full handstand push-up the way you might be thinking. These are just basically inverted where your butt's way up in the air, you're on a complete angle. Honestly, if I put a picture, I might just put it right across my face because this is going to show it way better than how I'm explaining it right now. I don't even know what words are. This is good because if you can't get to the gym, you can't do assisted pull-ups, this is a good one. That's for my number three. I would scale to pike push-ups next, especially if you can invert all the way up and you can really get them done well pike would be my number three but four and five are pretty close runner-ups because they're both rowing movements and that comes next for our pull-up variations number four is door pull-ins so if you attach 
a shirt or something that you could hook around the door, around your the handles of your doorknob or however you could do it. You let yourself back, you pull yourself in or out to change the difficulty, and it's gonna be a body weight row. And number five is very, very similar, where you pull yourself under a table, you grab the top, and you do body weight rows this way. So both are body weight row variations that can be done in the house, or pull-ins rather, or, or a row variation that could be done in the house. They could also be done TRX style with the bands at the gym if you're at the gym, or a row variation. Get these movements in as best you can. I wanted to get this video out there before I even officially announce the challenge because I wanted to take you through it, show you some images, give you five examples, which really came down to more than five examples, and basically just let you guys know this is meant to be fun. I wanna give you alternative, give you ways to scale it, and I want you to do whatever you have to do to be able to get these pull-ups in daily. I don't know if we're gonna do 25, 50, or 100 per day. I'll announce that officially before next month, but pull-ups is what it's going to be for next month. If you guys are watching this, you're getting the heads up first. I'm gonna document the whole thing as well as documenting my air squats right now. So keep a lookout for that. Once again, if you missed it, go check out my push-up challenge. I had 100 a day for a whole month. I was in Disney half the month and I still pulled off a pretty cool challenge. I had a good time with it. I feel like it went really well. So I'm excited to do some more. This was a quick one, but that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe. Check out the channel for more videos you may be interested in watching. Leave some comments below on not just about the video, but about what you'd like to see in the future. And I'll talk to you later. Normally I'd flex here, but we're in a hoodie.